But what I really want to talk about today with everybody on stream is this Metallica thing. So uh, we, we all know they, they dropped a new music video. I still have to film a reaction to that. Uh, they announced a new album. They announced a world tour. And I haven't really read up on a lot of news, but a friend texted me last night and said, did you see that Metallica's VIP tickets are $7,000? And I have a hard time believing that that's all of them. Like they probably have a package that's that, but I want to check this out. All right. So the article starts out saying, unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Metallica are back in a big way. This week, the band announced its latest studio album, 72 Seasons, which will be available on April XX. So I assume they haven't actually set a date yet. And dropped the first single and video from the album, Lux Eterna. Additionally, the band announced the massive world tour for 2023 and 2024. That will see the band play weekend shows around the world on Fridays and Sundays with no song repeats. As an added bonus, the celebratory version of Pantera will be along for the ride, playing the first night in each city. So I, I did read about their whole um, set is like, yeah, no repeat sets. And they they move the stage in the set like to the other side of the stadium and stuff. So it's like you're seeing a new show each time, which is kind of cool. I like how every media outlet has also given up on calling it a Pantera reunion like they were a couple months ago. And everybody is now saying Pantera celebration or celebratory version of Pantera, because let's be real. That's what it is. Pre-sales for the tour have already begun and Metallica have announced a series of VIP packages or enhanced experiences as they are being billed that fans can choose from to elevate their game and style. Below is a poster listing, listing each potential option. We have to admit some of them are pretty wild. The most hardcore of options is the I Disappear ticket, which for a pretty decent sum, you can see Metallica with ease at as many of their shows as you can stand for two straight years, and the band will make it the most enjoyable trip you've ever had. That said, nothing can beat the Lux Eterna package, which for $7,000 can get you pretty much everything you need to rock. All right. So before we start drilling into a lot of these, I will say I've been on many, many, many tours over the years that have VIP experiences and packages and bundles, and all of them are different. And it's all basically, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is the value of these experiences are all based on each person that's willing to pay for it. Because I will tell you right now, the majority of bands don't enjoy doing this shit man it's for them it, it's like more work like i've done tours with artists that do vip packages where like you know they're going about their regular day and then they realize well f now i have to go do this vip stuff that's going to take two hours out of my day and blah 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 and listen i know how that sounds saying it out loud it's like two hours that you can just spend with your fans and whatever and that's cool and you should do that but a lot of these artists don't want to do it i've seen it they act like it's a big pain in the ass to them and it's like infringing on their day and stuff. You know, I, I said earlier in this stream, like I feel like as an artist gets bigger, their enjoyment of these things goes down. The bands that really enjoy meeting their fans and doing this kind of shit are the ones that are at the merch table outside the venue after shows. But there is a reason that they do this because it is a good source of additional income. And as we all know, and as we've all been talking Bands aren't making a lot of money on the road anymore. So they kind of have to do this kind of stuff to make additional income. So I'm not trying to tell people not to do it or anything like that. Just, just know that while it is very special for you and the people going for the VIP package, it's just another day for the band. I've, I've seen bands afterwards come back and like, you know, talk about people they've met, sometimes not in flattering ways. A lot of gifts that you bring bands end up getting tossed. Some bands are really good at, at, at handling these VIP meet and greets and these performances and stuff, but some bands aren't. And the other thing too is that sometimes these VIP packages, a lot of shit goes into it and the band and the promoter are making extra money, but nobody else is. And I don't mean this to sound as though I feel I deserve something, but there have been times where I've been parts of tours that do a VIP package that includes like a private acoustic performance before the show where all the fans get to do a meet and greet. 
And then there's uh, a room that's been set aside where there's like a small stage and a little PA and the artists will get up and perform if for a small crowd. The artist isn't setting that all up themselves. The crew is. So on tours where I've had to do that, I've had to go set up the, the microphone and the stand and everything and get everything ready for that show and set up the pedals and all that stuff. And then our front of house engineer has to set things up. And then the VIP manager that does all this has to set that up. We don't get any more in our salaries from that. So there's a lot of additional work that goes on a lot of other people to make these VIP things happen sometimes, but it's extra income for the artists. But anyways, let's continue into these packages here. So the first one that's on the list is the Nothing Else Matters Snake Pit Experience ranges between $3,200 and $43, almost $4,400. Price includes ticket to both shows in the same city. Prices vary by market. Wow, these look okay. So this is this is per person. $3,200 to $4,400 per person. The Nothing Else Matters Snake Pit experience includes one backstage meet and greet experience with two members of the band, not even the full band, two members, which includes a photo taken by the tour photographer and a group conversation with members of the band. Band members will vary show to show. So if the tour photographer is taking the picture, what most likely happens on something like this is that they take the picture, they give you a card with a link and and a unique code on it. And then you go to a website like within 24 hours later and you find your picture and just download it. So obviously you're not taking it with your phone. Sometimes I've been on VIP tours where they don't even give you a unique code. They just give you a link to all of the photos of all of the VIP photos that have been taken for the tour. And you have to dig through the whole thing and find your fucking picture. One production tour led by a Metallica crew member and an onstage group photo. One ticket to the snake pit, an exclusive standing section located in the middle of the stage for both shows in the same city. Party with other Metallica fans both nights at the official Black Box pre-show lounge, which includes three complimentary beverages as well as appetizers and bar snacks. Two limited edition show-specific posters. One autograph set list featuring all of the songs played at both shows. One commemorative city-specific concert ticket. One limited edition Metallica merchandise item. One MP3 download of the live audio from both shows. That's pretty f***ing cool. I will actually say that. Express lane at designated merchandise stand. On-site perks such as priority check-in, dedicated support staff, and a fast-track lane into the venue. So the asterisks were band member participation will vary by show and is not announced prior to the event. Only one meet and greet per weekend package. Okay, so you only get to do the meet and greet at one of the two shows you're getting a concert, uh, ticket to. Makes sense. Only one backstage tour per weekend. Same thing. I will say, that's a lot of shit. That's a lot of cool shit. This, this is pretty standard for a lot of big tours. I would almost be willing to bet that VIP Nation is handling this. Live Nation's VIP company. Because this looks very similar to a lot of the... VIP packages that they do for a lot of big artists. So we started at $3,200 to $4,400. Is it going to get higher from there? No, it's not. The next one is cheaper. Moth into flame snake pit experience. You're basically getting everything but the backstage meet and greet and the tour. So they're charging $2,000, anywhere between $2,000 and $3,000 more just to meet two of the band members. That's that's the price of meeting Metallica members, apparently. The one enhanced experience, $800 to $1,000. One premium reserved seat in the first few rows of the lower bowl for both shows in the same city. No snake pit, no band, no backstage tour, everything else. Frantic early entry general admission package. For $400 to $500, you're losing meeting the band, the backstage tour, the snake pit, and you don't get the live concert anymore. Seek and destroy reserved package. I feel like that's going to be a very popular VIP package. Okay, here we go. The Lux Eterna platform experience, $7,200. Now... This changes a lot of things because everybody was all the headlines were making this sound like it was seventy or seven thousand dollars for one VIP ticket. This says price includes up to eight guests. 
One exclusive viewing platform for a private group of up to eight people with an unbeatable view for both shows in the same city. Platform beverage cooler stocked with complimentary beer and soft drinks. Access to the official black box pre-show lounge, which includes three complimentary beverages as well as appetizers and bar snacks. One limited edition Metallica merchandise item for each member of your group. Pre-order your concert merchandise and have have it delivered to your platform. On-site perks such as uh, priority check-in, dedicated support staff, and fast track. This is f***ing interesting, though. Because, th- to me, after reading this now, $7,200 for eight, eight people. And you get a private f***ing box. Yeah, you're looking at about 900 bucks a person. For a private box, a pre-show lounge, booze and soft drinks stocked in your in your box. Limited edition merch for each person in your group. This this doesn't seem as bad as I thought it would if you have, you know, seven other friends that are willing to pay $900 for this experience. But the other thing about this experience package is that there, there's no meet and greet. There's no MP3 download of the actual show. There are things missing that are in the other packages that I figured for $7,200 would probably be included. The raised platform will be at the base of a production tower encircling the stage on the stadium floor situated less than 75 feet from the stage itself. The viewing platform provides easy access to the GA standing area as well. Now, this isn't this isn't very like the way that I was reading it. So you got to really think. I think when people are reading this, they're thinking like 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 a luxury box. You think about like a luxury box at like an arena for like, you know, an ice hockey game or something where it's enclosed. There's a bathroom. There's all that stuff. Keep in mind, this says exclusive viewing platform. I have actually gone to a show as a guest and had an experience like this. The U2 360 tour, Uh, a band I was working for at the time had an extra ticket. They asked me if I wanted to go. This sounds like exactly what that was. It's literally a riser. It's just riser decks that they have put somewhere. So you're probably still exposed. You're around everywhere, everybody else. You're going to have to go use the GA bathroom, stuff like that. It's not like a private box. It's just a raised viewing platform. So let's look at the asterisks. Um, So we read the first one. Subject to local alcohol compliance rules and restrictions, of course. Uh, One cooler per platform. Restocking prohibited. Guests must be over the legal drinking age to consume alcohol. Concert merchandise will be charged to a single credit card based on items and sizes selected by the group ahead of time. Group host must remain the same, but the additional group guests can differ between the two weekend shows. Oh, so, okay. So if I bought this package for $7,200, I could bring 14 different friends and split that all up. So now you're talking, now you're talking splitting $7,200 up between 15 people. You're talking 500 bucks a person. That's really not bad. If you got 15 friends or 14 other friends, I, I the, the, the more I read the the it's not as bad as I was led to believe it was going to be. Especially this whole thing where, you know, we know how the internet is and everybody gets clickbaity and this whole Metallica's charging $7,000 for a VIP experience. Well, if you do it right, it ends up being $480 per person. That's really not that bad. Considering just a you a lot of people are probably going to get one individual ticket for over $480 for a lot of these shows. Oddball brings up a good point in chat. The $7,000 package is definitely designed for companies to buy for their better customers, like getting a skybox for sporting events. Plus it's a nice write-off. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I bet that's what that's going to be used for. That's going to be local companies that are bringing guests and then they're going to write it off as a business expense for sure. But if you are a normal person, that package doesn't seem as bad as I was led to believe it was by some of the headlines from from these articles. Like they made it seem like it was seventy two hundred dollars per person just to get a Metallica VIP. And that's you see, that's obviously not the case. You can split that between the people that are going. But for me personally, like as as a music fan and a metal fan and stuff, I'll I'll be honest with you guys, like I, I couldn't afford any of that. I, realistically, I couldn't even afford one of like the six to $800 ones. Even if I was a diehard fan, like I said, I'm a fan of Metallica, but even if this was like one of my all time favorite bands, like 
If it was like in flames or nine inch nails or something doing like this, I still would not be able to afford that. And that's the discussion that a lot of you guys have brought up and that we've talked about is some of these big bands have just become like bands for older, wealthier people. Like it kind of takes out and I'm not, I'm not trying to suggest that none of these people are fans of the band. They probably are. But I feel like it kind of takes away some of the authenticity of the true fans being able to actually go to the shows. The tickets themselves that we saw, like we saw like the two day tickets for like 225 a piece. That's not bad. Now, after the actual on sale goes tomorrow, I'm especially through fucking Ticketmaster. I'm curious to see how how much those get bought up and resold for. Uh, the average middle class person is getting priced out of events that they actually really want to go to. Now, they could probably make it happen, but they're they're going to be using credit or it's like going to be the one big thing they do a year. And with Live Nation running this entire thing, I'm curious to see what's going to happen when tickets go on sale and what the upcharges are going to be for even VIP ticketing. Because I, I personally don't know if they're going to have like service fees and all that stuff on top of VIP ticketing. They might. But yeah, if any of you wind up going to the show on this tour or are a part of any of these VIP experiences, let me know because I'm I'm very, very curious to see how this this whole thing goes. But uh, yeah, it's wild.